hey guys this is evie and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how i did these snakeskin textured feather and chrome nails so I've already applied my stiletto tips and I cut them down into a coffin shape and I'm applying my Nail Nails Nail Prep Dehydrator and then my No Lift Nails Primer. And I'm gonna be using Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. This is available on my website. I will leave the link down below. So right before I apply the clear i apply a second layer of no lift nails primer and while the primer is still wet i go ahead and apply my clear acrylic and this is just going to be a plain clear nail so i'm just going to build up the structure and strength of the nail and the brush i'm using today is my number eight oval brush from alpha and the stiletto tips that i use today are from glitter planet uk i will leave a link down below For the index finger, this is where I'm going to apply my feather. So I'm just going to do a thin layer of clear on the nail bed area. For the middle finger, this is going to be the snake skin textured nail. Um, so I'm just applying a thin layer of clear. Next, I'm applying the pre-cut glass shard effect paper, and these are available on my website. I will leave a link down below. So once I have all of the glass paper in place, I go ahead and cap it with clear acrylic. All right, so going back to the ring fingernail, I apply nail glue and then I'm going to press on this feather. I got this feather in a pack from my local craft store and I just apply more nail glue as I see fit and just press it all in place. And once the feather is in place, I go ahead and cut off the excess. And then I encapsulate the uh, feather with clear acrylic. And you just want to make sure that you get the sides and everything. You just want to make sure it is all covered with clear. Um, that way, when you get to filing, you won't file off the feather. Moving on to the index fingernail. Um, this is going to be just a plain clear nail.
Alright, so this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. And I'm going to go in with this black gel polish from Love Jazzery. And I'm just going to apply this to my pinky fingernail and my index fingernail. And I only did one coat of this polish. So I cure that for 60 seconds and then I'm going to apply this mermaid chrome powder from Born Pretty Store. And this powder is super gorgeous, like it is so gorgeous. Born Pretty Store has come a long way with their chrome powders because at first I did not like them because they were all so chunky and didn't really blend out well but this one is like the best one I've ever tried. So next I'm going in with Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat and I'm just going to apply this to all of the nails. And I cure that for 60 seconds and then I'm going to go in with my nail art brush and the black gel polish and I'm just going to create the snake skin design. And I got this technique from Tabitha Scott Nails. I always wondered how she got that nail to look like that and I'm glad she really, you know, shared her technique and all of that. So yeah, this is inspired by Tabitha Scott snake textured inspired nails. And yeah, it's really easy. So yeah, I kind of just clean up any lines where I see fit. All right, so this is after I applied all of the lines and I did clean up any of the lines with my gel brush before I cure. And this is just how it looks. So I cure that for 60 seconds in my LED lamp and I'm going to go back in with this alpha liner brush and I'm putting my Poochie Snails Super Shine Gel Top Coat because it is a little bit thicker than a regular top coat and I just use this to fill in the spaces and I do flash cure um, every couple you know I fill in a few of the spaces and then I flash cure. Um, just so you won't get the gel polish running all over the place. Um, and I just take my time to build up each of the scales um, to give it that round textured look. And it just took a lot of applying gel and flash carrying, applying gel and flash carrying. Um, so it did take some, some time to do that nail. So once that's all finished, I go ahead and apply more of the Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat and I use that to apply these iridescent crystals. These crystals are also available on my website. I will leave a link down below. And I go ahead and cure this and then I apply my cuticle oil. And this is the finished look. I am so shocked at how this snake skin texture nail came out. I think it looks so cool. And to even run your nail over it, it just feels like, you know, textured and I don't know, lumpy. <laughs> And 
and I just love how the glass shard paper reflects through it it just looks so gorgeous and I also love the detail on this feather I cannot wait to try out different color feathers I'm thinking about a fall inspired nail design with some more feathers but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial Head over to LongCarePrettyNails.com and check out my blog and my shop. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you in my next one.